Welcome back in, and it is mid-morning on WKYT. And as we begin the peak mosquito season here in Kentucky, health officials prepare for the possibility of the Zika virus spreading into the bluegrass. What do you need to know? We're joined by Blake Newton with UK Extension Entomology. Thank you very much for coming in. A lot of people have questions about this. Sure. Uh, what do people know, need to know, really, about the Zika virus and the connection to mosquitoes and mosquito bites? Well, we know that uh, mosquitoes can spread the Zika virus. We know we have some of the mosquitoes in Kentucky that can spread Zika, although the primary mosquitoes that spread it are very rare in Kentucky, so that's good news. Mm -hmm. um, we also know that we can do a lot to protect ourselves from mosquitoes. Uh, we can reduce water around our homes, uh, standing water, and we can use repellents. Um, so with that knowledge, we hope that people aren't too worried about going outside uh, this summer, but it is, it is a concern. When you're talking about repellents, are you talking about treatments that you would do around your yard, or are you talking about something you would physically put on your body? Yeah, most of the time we're talking about things that you, that you wear, things made out of uh, the active ingredient DEET, Mm -hmm. Or some of those other um, uh, other uh, active ingredients that is are very effective. Is DEET one of the ones that you really look for? Oh yes, uh, DEET is is kind of the, the the gold standard for a repellent that you put directly onto either your clothes or your skin. Works very well, very safe, um, and that's the one that we generally recommend. There's a handful of others that work well too, but there's some sort of pros and cons to each kind. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, is it a myth or is it true that that mosquitoes seem to? enjoy biting some people and not others. <laughs> we always hear that um, and uh, we do know that they're attracted to certain uh, scents and maybe even colors mm. so it is possible that if somebody is giving off more of some some kind of mojo uh, but, but I don't think any of that's ever been ever been proven. Uh, it, it certainly seems to me like when we're sitting around with a group of people one person will get hit over and over and oh. over again and somebody else isn't. Okay, maybe I'm the only person who doesn't know this, but I heard you say putting that repellent on your clothing, not just your body. Yeah. I didn't know that you did that. I yeah. didn't know that was what you were supposed to do with it. It, it just it sort of depends on which kind. Um, mm -hmm. There's one that's based on permethrin that is not supposed to be used on your skin. It's actually, it's not necessarily very dangerous for your skin. Oh, there's a fly on my finger right now. That is... Uh, oh, well, yeah. in the KYT studio. <laughs> not wearing any DEET right now. That's... Yeah. that's very strange. I've never actually caught one on my finger like this. And um, it wants to stay, yeah. I think. He likes you. Yeah. There you go. Um, but yeah, uh, so, uh, the ones that are based on permethrin instead of DEET, it's actually meant to be used directly onto your clothes. It's actually very effective, especially mm -hmm. at keeping ticks and mosquitoes from getting on you. Um, but the, uh, some of the other kind, like DEET, are meant more for your skin. All right. Very Blake, good. Blake Newton from UK Entomology, thank you uh, very much for coming in. We're going to have a little um, uh, longer discussion with you on our Kentucky Newsmakers program this weekend. Look forward to that, and thanks for coming. Important information. Thank you. Well,